Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dutch. Just wanted to touch on um, something that it's even though it's 2021, people are still uh, very confused about it, which is um, up A's, reaction shots, back A's, etc., etc., etc. The discussion never ends, and I wanted to touch on it because after all these years of you know playing, making videos, and researching whatever you want to call it um i keep seeing the same things being said right so we're at a point now in gears where uh people are begging tc to um to remove the reaction shot so this video isn't really for beginners so if you don't know what a reaction shot is it's basically an up A, so I'll show an up A. This is an up A, so where you go past the wall and shoot into the person. And a reaction shot would be something like me going that direction, but shooting that way. So, sort of like that. Right? Now, the issue comes from... You know, these bots are very aggressive. The issue that people face is when somebody's on this side of the wall... You're on this wall, and then you can aim around and shoot them in cover. And something like this is extremely annoying. Oh, hang on. I gotta kill the bot real quick. Something like this is very annoying to play, especially at a high level. Because when you're up against players at a high level... That was an up eh? When you're up against players at a high level, um, that is something that gets abused a lot. And... Don't get me wrong, when I say abused, I'm not necessarily saying that I'm against it, right? I'm only saying... Can I pause this? Yeah, I can. I'm only saying that um, people's playstyles will be revolving around whether or not they can reaction shot, right? So in an open area like this, wall bouncing back and forth is very ineffective because there's a lot of ground to cover. Um... You know, you can get easily get downed or get crossed from anywhere. So what someone would do in this situation would be kind of like sitting in cover here. Um, maybe poking out so that they, you know, they expose themselves to the enemy. And then the enemy comes towards them into cover. Now, in this situation, if I'm on the other side, there's a few things that are going on here. In this case, when I get out of cover... Nope, the bot's very aggressive. There you go, it's a perfect example. She rolls into me, whatever. If I jump out of cover, I have right hand advantage. So for me, doing an, a reaction shot around the wall is easier than doing a reaction shot around the left side of the wall. And the reason is very simple. See, if I'm sitting in cover, you can see the gun is in my left hand, sticking to the left. But as soon as I get out of cover, my camera or my person. Um, switches weapons to the right hand so i have to not only take that into consideration when i up a or reaction shot or whatever rap shot whatever you want to call it um i i have to pay attention to the other person because the other person can simply back a like this and shoot me as i come out of cover while on the other side doing it like this it's a bit more difficult to figure out let's just put it that way now the problem is and this is what the video is about is people don't want this rap shot to be in the game but what they constantly seem to ignore oh very nice kate what they constantly seem to ignore <clears throat> is that a rap shot is nothing different but an up a with a different angle so oh kate is bloodthirsty i'm running um an up A is in a straight line, right? A reaction shot would be in the out angle, if, if I have to, you know, name it something. And a wrap shot, a wrap shot is simply to the inside angle. So, middle, hello? This is the middle, that's the outside, so that's a reaction shot. And this would be a wrap shot, because I'm wrapping around the wall. But all of this is all the same. You're basically going past the corner and shooting. Now, the only way for TC to fix this, and quote-unquote fix, is to make 
this game function in a way where you see this, right? Where if I'm trying to aim through the wall, I'm shooting the wall, which is what it is right now, except the problem is, is that when I'm up Aing, that doesn't happen. When I'm up Aing, I can still shoot through the wall. See, so that's where I shot a minute ago. Nope, gotta do it right, of course. See, I, I can't hit that when I aim. But because you're using the, the game's mechanics to your advantage, the game doesn't realize that you're actually shooting through the wall until, you know, you um, actually go past the wall. So even if I stand like this, which is sort of where my shotgun would be, as you can tell, the difference between me shooting into the wall and the wall behind it is minuscule. But when you look at the the camera, this is this is all it takes. Kill the bot again. All right. So imagine if they made a block, right? If they if they changed the game's mechanics again and made it so that, you know, you can't up A through the wall anymore. What would happen is, and I'm not saying this is necessarily a bad thing, but what would happen is, is that every single piece of cover that you could potentially use to sort of bait someone into a back A or an up A like this, would basically be pointless. Now these corners that you see here, these could still be used because you're going into a straight line and you're shooting, right? But anything like this, the person sitting in cover will have a massive advantage because all they need to do is back, back A into a straight line, right? So if I'm on this cover, right? And I want to hit this person with a reaction shot or rap shot or whatever, I can, but if they took that out the game, I would be forced to either go wide, right? Go wide into the cover and expose myself to someone who's in cover, or I would have to push up and maybe do like a delayed up A, if I can call it that. Damn man, these bots are super aggressive. So if TC put this in, everyone would stop moving because you could essentially play the game like this. And if they would change that on top of the up A, so as in, if you're back A, you can't shoot through the wall as well. What's left there to do? What, what can you do if somebody has an advantage in cover? All you can do is either slide or maybe wall bounce out of the way to make them miss. But most of the time, if you're up against competent players, you won't stand a chance, really. That's just the truth. So imagine you're on this pillar, right? Someone's coming. I he sees me. Um, he he can't he can't do a reaction shot off the wall. He can't do an up A. None of these things that you were able to do right now. And all I have to do is back A and I win. That's essentially what it'll boil, boil down to. So TC is in a conundrum here. I think that's the right word where no matter what they will change the players will find the easiest way you can call it that or the most effective way to be the player and unfortunately the rap shot is such a yeah staple in a uh in the in the you know onyx bracket and above play style i would say that you really can't go without anymore. Because there are so many situations everywhere on the map where, you know, you need to wall bounce, you need to move very quickly and kind of like just hit somebody extremely fast without them knowing what you're doing. So if somebody's on this cover right here and I'm coming out of here and I spot this person last minute, um, I can wall bounce and then reaction shot them or rap shot them uh, if I have to. That's my defense if I'm caught out in the open. But if TC removed that, then you're screwed. And there are plenty of people out there. Um, one of them that comes to mind is Admiral Elite. I've had it on. Uh, I've had him on a podcast before. Uh, so if you want to go back and watch that video, you can. Um, where 
I go into detail and I show some of his footage on older Gears games where he pulls off reaction shots on Gears 1, Gears 2, Gears UE, all these things where, all these games where people used to think that it wasn't possible, but it was mostly just not possible because people didn't know any better, you know, and that's kind of what it boils down to is that people either don't know what they're talking about um, or they don't realize the potential um, really bad consequence for the overall gameplay by fixing something that uh, is, is just such a big staple of the game. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give my thoughts on that. Um, there will be more videos like this, so if you enjoy this type of thing, make sure you leave a comment and a like below. Uh, let me know what your solution would be, or if you thought about this stuff before. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one, and thank you for watching. Peace out. Bye-bye.